Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Susan here in the Kids Corner. I'm so glad you could join me today. Today I'm going to read you a story that I bought for myself called Colorful. It's called Celebrating the Colors God Gave Us by Dorena Williamson. So I'm going to read the words on the pages and then I'll turn it around like this so that you can see the lovely pictures, okay? Summer had finally arrived and Imani was excited to blow bubbles and jump on the trampoline and climb the trees. She and her little brother, Christopher, were waiting for their friend, Kayla, to join in the fun. Hi guys, wanna see who can blow the biggest, most poppable bubble, asked Kayla as she climbed over the fence. Wow, look at my bubble, said Christopher. Christopher, it's full of swirly colors. I've got colors floating on mine too, Kayla added. I never knew bubbles could have so many colors, said Imani. Well, you are amazing bubble makers, said Granny Mac, walking outside to join the kids. Look, said Christopher, my bubble is ginormous and has 50 gazillion colors in it. How about that, said Granny Mac. Aren't colorful colors wonderful? Mine has pink and purple. My favorite, said Kayla. Well, isn't that something, said Granny Mac, right in this backyard. What other colorful things do you see? I see Mama's flowers, lots of orange and yellow, said Imani. Kayla ran toward the garden, and I see red tomatoes and green beans. Does gray count, asked Christopher, because I see a crazy gray squirrel running up that tree. Yep, gray is a color too, and I think it's a rather pretty one, said Granny Mac, patting her silvery hair. Now close your eyes, she said. Imagine. If you couldn't see any of the colorful things around you, no blue sky, no white clouds, no crazy gray squirrel. Now, open your eyes and enjoy the view. God did wonderful work making his creation so colorful. Wouldn't it be sad to miss out on all this beauty he made? Imani looked around and thought for a second, yep, this is much better than being in the dark. You guys are probably thirsty after all that color hunting. Come and have a snack. I want to tell you something else that's very special about God's creation. We just saw how God painted the vivid colors, and he did that on purpose, making everything in the earth in a special color. Now, when God created people, he didn't make all of us one color, color either. Did he? asked Granny Mac. No, ma'am. God made my skin chocolate, just like yours, said Christopher with pride. That's right, chuckled Granny Mac. God decided chocolate was the right skin color for you. And Imani, even though you and Christopher are in the same family, your caramel-colored skin is different than his. What about me, Granny Mac? asked Kayla, her eyes wide. Dear girl, God decided you would look beautiful with vanilla colored skin and red hair, added Kayla. Absolutely, the color, the hair of rising sun, said Granny Mac with a smile. Sometimes people say we should be colorblind and not notice the different colors of our skin but God gave us eyes to take in all of his wonderful colors. Why would we want to be blind and not see them? So if we aren't colorblind, then what are we? Asked Kayla. Granny Mac declared, well, our eyes are full of all the colors God made and our hearts are full of celebration for all of that color. So that means we are colorful. Yeah, baby, we're not colorblind, we're colorful, said Christopher.
You know what else has color? Asked Granny Mac. Ice cream. Whoopee, said the kids. Look, said Imani, all our ice cream is colorful too. Being colorful sure does taste good, said Christopher. I agree, said Granny Mac. Being colorful is one of God's sweetest gifts. There's a special little Bible verse at the end of this book that goes like this. It says, I will praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wondrous, and I know this very well. Psalms 139, 14. I'm so glad that God made you and that God made me. Until next time, I love you, I miss you, and I'm praying for you.